Keeping your operating system running on the latest version no longer needs to be a chaos-inducing process. Red Hat Enterprise Linux has a tool that can help ease that transition. My name is Eric the IT Guy Hendricks, and I'm an operations advocate here at Red Hat. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Leap and demonstrate how to upgrade from Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 to RHEL 9. In the spring of 2022, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 became the latest major version of our operating system. With it comes improvements in security, the latest in performance enhancements, and updates to all the tools and libraries that make up our Linux distribution. RHEL 9 is the delivery on a promise made in 2019 with the release of RHEL 8 for a new major version every three years. With the increased release cadence, we saw the need for an easier transition between major versions through in-place upgrades. Let's face it. Redeployments are expensive. They cost time and tie up valuable technical resources. It requires building out replacement hardware or virtual machines. You have to rebuild configurations from scratch, resubscribe systems, and reinstall your application workloads. With readily available tooling, all that time and effort can be saved by executing an in-place upgrade. It lowers the level of complexity and drastically reduces the amount of time and energy required. That is where Leap comes on the scene. Install the Leap utility, Run the upgrade check, and let the Leap tool do the rest. You can take your instance from RHEL 8 to RHEL 9 EUS releases or extended update support. These are typically every even numbered release. It doesn't matter if you're using the built-in Leap command line tool or integration with Red Hat Satellite. You can identify potential repository conflicts or correct application issues before initiating the upgrade. That way, when you start your planned outage, you'll be in great shape to complete the needed upgrades in the allotted time. Need help getting started? Red Hat Consulting Services have executed many successful engagements with our customers, numbering tens of thousands of successful server upgrades. Working with our experts will further decrease the drain on resources and the time required to complete an upgrade across your entire fleet. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see Leap in action. What you are looking at is a vanilla RHEL 8.6 virtual machine running in my home lab. In order to begin, we'll issue a DNF command to install the Leap upgrade suite. This includes the Leap tool, pre-upgrade assessment, and supporting packages. Believe it or not, that is really all the tools we need to start the process. With those in hand, let's let Leap check our server for any potential impediments to our upgrade. With the release of RHEL 9, Leap supports multiple version targets, so we'll need to specify our target version. This operation will take a few minutes, but once it is complete, we'll produce a JSON or text file for your review. If our pre-upgrade assessment finds any issues, we can fix them. These solutions get placed into a log file under var log leap answer file. In fact, many issues have been documented by our engineering support teams into knowledge base articles linked right in the assessment logs. Now that we've got a clean assessment, we are ready to start the upgrade. This doesn't require any additional arguments. However, I've added the reboot option so the server will reboot automatically once the upgrade is complete. Leap begins with an inventory of the host system. Next, Leap registers the RHEL 9 repositories, replacing the RHEL 8 repos. Leap will then begin by replacing the operating system packages and libraries like glibc and the kernel. The second pass starts upgrading sort of the next layer of packages like Firewall D and Network Manager. With the base OS packages replaced, Leap builds a new boot image. It's worth noting that the larger the server and the more packages are installed, the longer this process will take. With all of our packages upgraded to RHEL 9 and our new boot image in place, the server reboots. Leap generates an after action report and stores it in var log leap. You may notice that this process is much quicker and requires a lot fewer steps and reboots than in the RHEL 8 version. When our system comes back to a login prompt, we have a RHEL 9 system ready for our use. And that's all there is to it. If you'd like to learn more about Red Hat Enterprise Linux, start your free trial at redhat.com slash try RHEL. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments if there are any other tech tips you'd like to see, and be sure to subscribe to get more content just like this. Until next time.